tonight at uh, 9 p.m. live on Blaze TV. Dollar decimation. How Biden's spending spree could end our currency as we know it. This is this is trouble coming our way. Trouble, 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 trouble. We, I believe, are going to see a uh, a melt up, and we're at the beginning of that melt up right now, uh, where things are going to explode, and everybody's going to say this is great. Uh, and then trouble hits like nobody's business. And I'll show you this trouble tonight and show you how to prepare your family. I always told you during the Obama administration, remember, this this administration is really being run by the Obama people. Um, and so it's the same tactic. Don't look where everyone's telling you to look. What else are they doing? Uh, well, they're doing an awful lot. Uh, they've been busy this week. Um, they've been telling us that, you know, we're systematically racist, blah, blah, blah. But what, between doing that, what nobody is seeing is they're meeting with representatives to try to push through another $2.3 trillion social infrastructure bill. This is round one. Round two will have another trillion dollars. I mean, are we even counting the trillions? We're spending at a historic rate. Our, the GDP ratio is now uh, at 102%. So we're now all of the money that we make, all of the money that we make in a year, every bit of land and transactions and homes and wealth and everything that is our national product in a year, everything that we spend, all of that taken. And we're still down 2%. It's not going to be not going to be good. Not going to be good. Um, we are spending now like it's going out of style, and I think money is going out of style. The Fed has acknowledged rising inf- inflation, but they say they're not going to do anything about it. Remember, the Fed's job is to, uh, according to them, stop us from having collapse and economic depressions. And also to keep inflation under control. They have a target for inflation, 2%. Looks like we are going to be having inflation of at least 4%. Uh, let, me just, let me just give you a couple of uh, numbers here. Commodity prices. In the last year, lumber is up 265%. How are we going to build new houses? How are you going to build a house today when it's going to when the lumber to build it is 265% over what it normally is? And when normal when that lumber comes back down to normal levels, are you going to try to sell your house and and it's going to be what? 100% more expensive than what you could build a new one for today? Crude oil up 210%. Gasoline up in the last year 182%. Heating oil 107%. Corn 84%. Copper 83%. Soybeans 72%. Silver up uh, 45. Sugar up 59. Cotton 54%. Natural gas up 43%. That's and that's just that's the raw stuff. That's the raw stuff. Coca-Cola said they're raising their price. Good. Another reason not to buy it. Wheat and coffee are already up 10%. There was an article out yesterday. The price of household staples, diapers, tampons, going to surge. um, uh, Detergent. Procter & Gamble is saying they're going to raise the prices on almost everything. Well, that's all of your home stuff. That's everything that you buy because you have to buy it. When you're looking at Scott toilet paper and Huggies diapers saying that by June it'll be up almost a dime by June, you got a problem. Cereal is going to be up a dime that's that's Cheerios, that's uh, Grape Nuts, that's even Skippy Peanut Butter. Hormel Foods says uh, their ground turkey is going up. Smucker has already boosted the price of Jif Peanut Butter, 
and now saying it's going to have to hike its uh, prices on everything else. But don't worry, there's no inflation. There is inflation. There is inflation. And the worst place, the worst place, please, please hear this warning. Please hear this warning. <sighs> right now, we are spending so much money. The, the, you're not, you, people are having a hard time finding people to go to work and fill these jobs. But there's unemployed. What do you mean we're having a hard time finding work? The government is giving out so much money now that there's no reason to go to work for a lot of people. I can make more money by not working than working. People are the, 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 the outflow from the government compared to the inflow. I'll show you this chart tonight. We had in 2019... Um, we had uh, income that was coming in uh, this scale, and I don't know what it's marked in. It might be billions of dollars. Uh, it has to be. It has to be billions of dollars. The uh, the the income that the United States was making uh, was from taxes. We're bringing in a uh, hundred billion a uh, hundred billion dollars in a quarter. <laughs> what we are now bringing in is about $10 billion in the quarter, and we are outflowing in one quarter $650 billion. That, that can't last. The, the chart is, is crazy. So the government is just pouring cash into everything, pouring cash into it. This is the number that is st- Staggering to me. We know that people are getting into the stock market. We know that the stock market has high prices and everybody is saying, oh, it's going to keep going up. It's going to keep going up. <clears throat> Over the last 12 years, the money that has poured in to the stock market, the new money that has come in, was $452 billion dollars. That's over the last 12 years, and that's from people making money and having more money and putting it in, also a result of the Fed giving these banks money and them using it to buy their own stocks, et cetera, et cetera. But half a trillion dollars over 12 years, over the last five months, the number that has gone in, the amount of cash that has gone in, new money to buy stocks, is $569 billion. In 12 years, we put in less than half a, bi- a trillion, and in the last five months, we've put in over half a trillion dollars. Where's that money coming from? That money is not coming from anything real. That money is coming from stimulus packages, and it's jacking up and juicing it's, the, it's like the 1920s. It, I mean, it's not real. None of it is real. And we're borrowing all this money. And it will, it will, the, look, we're opening the economy in it again. People have a pent-up demand. They have money in the bank that they have saved. And so now they're going to go out and they're going to spend. So we're going to see a surge. This is not anything to do with the Obama policy, even honestly, the Trump policy. This is normal. People are leaving their houses and they're going to go shopping. They're going to go buy things. They're going to go do things. They're going to take vacations. So you're going to see the economy go up, but you're going to see, you are going to see money coming at you like nobody's business. This economy, I think, is going to be on, I mean, on, on every possible stimulant uh, known to man, it's going to think it can fly and it's going to jump off a roof. You always know you're in trouble when the water starts to, on the shoreline starts to flow in real fast, recede from the beach, and it's, it's just rushing to the ocean. You're like, wow, that's weird. 
haven't seen that before. And then what happens? All that water that rushed in comes at once in one big tidal wave. That's what we're seeing. The, what's happening on Wall Street right now, all, if you were standing on a beach and that water were dollars, you would see all of it rushing like you've never seen before. All of the money just rushing into the stock market. That wall is going to come back down. This is a, what I believe is um, a controlled collapse. But I don't think you can control it. I, I think these people are so arrogant, they have no idea what they're doing. But there is a collapse of the dollar that is coming. How do I know? Well, right now, the United States government, what have I been, what have I been telling you for a long time uh, in commercials with American financing? Hey, lock in this interest rate. So if you have a home, you buy it for 30 years, and you can lock that interest rate in. Okay, you get 3%. Banks are going to hate you when the interest rates go up. Well, why isn't the Fed? Why is the Fed saying if we have 4%, 3 or 4% inflation right now, inflation comes 5, 6, 8, 10%. You've got to raise those interest rates. Why are they saying they won't do it for the next four years? Because over the next four years, for, for the rest of hu uh, human existence, the minute those interest rates start going up, it's like the United States has the worst loan idea of all time. It's not just an adjustable. We're selling them all the time. We got to get somebody to buy them. The Fed's been buying them. But as interest rates, if it goes up to 5%, 6%, we're done. We're done. We don't have the money for the interest rate, just like you wouldn't have the money with an adjustable loan if all of a sudden we hit 20%. You have some real protections. The United States government doesn't have those protections. You just can't afford it. And so what happens to the dollar and what happens to you? That's the topic tonight. I want you to watch on Blaze TV. Please support us. Become a member at blazetv.com slash Glenn. Use the promo code Glenn and you'll save. blazetv.com slash Glenn. You can uh, also see us live tonight on Pluto TV. And also, we seem to always have a problem with YouTube. What a surprise. Uh, but you also should be able to see it live tonight on YouTube, 9 p.m. Eastern.